Look at her rain. Been getting a lot of rain lately. So you might be wondering what this thing is. It's a gadget I put together. You actually take this plug out and you fill it with antifreeze and put the plug back in. Hook your air hose up to that. And this is the air chuck. And you you put antifreeze in your tires. And it I don't know how it exactly works, but it takes takes the shake out of your tires if they if they're not balanced. It'll balance them for you just putting a little coolant in there. And Bill wanted to use it because Bill bought this truck and he leased on to, to Hallman Trucking. And he's going doing his own thing. So we lost Bill, um, which is not good for him, not good for us. Bill's a great guy. Anyway, so that's, you probably won't be seeing much of Bill in my videos anymore. Well, maybe he'll start his own channel. <laughs> Anybody that's worked on trucks very long, or very much, knows what this is. And this Propar must not... Maybe I shouldn't badmouth things, but I'm not impressed. It doesn't look that old. In Minnesota, it'll look like that in a year or two. It's still got the sticker on it, so it can't be that old. And it's already bad. Here on the low boy truck. Got a new one there. What brand is this? It's made in America. That's going on next. The ground's so wet. It's only been raining a couple minutes. And it's already running. The ground is it's gotta be just saturated. Alright, so marking with the blue there. How to keep the reflective striping straighter than I got it before plumbing in the electrical again you got overspray all over the tires this one it doesn't matter so much because this one I don't want to poke myself it blew out I can stick my finger right in it it blew out just sitting there in the sun the other week so we did have some electrical issues this morning I had had to find out why the, why the flashing lights weren't working. I knew I had a trouble or an issue with that turn signal. Got that a new wiring harness made for that. Put the reflective striping on there. License plate, put a new license plate light on it. Yeah, so it's getting closer. Yeah, I'll put the striping on. And it's not the straightest, but I will blame that on Dean. He was the one helping me. The wheels, we... <laughs> oh, boy. We haven't done anything with yet. Yes, all the overspray. Like I said earlier, that tire we're going to change. It doesn't matter. And the law is that you got to have 50% of the side of your trailer uh, have reflective striping. But I like to do just about 100%. In here, I did something different. Um, I cut a strip the stripe in half to put on here so it's only an inch wide instead of the normal two inches wide because I want I want plenty of striping oh here's something too you'll laugh at <laughs> Smith was giving me a bad time that we should put aluminum wheels on it I said well why don't we just paint them chrome so I went and bought the can of chrome paint and he put a can or sprayed a little chrome on there. It's kind of funny. It doesn't look too bad. And this is the back. Yeah. Haven't done the other side yet. But this is where I'm at. So here's a little sawmill alongside the road here. Look at the water in the ditch as evidence of how much it's rained. I guess they got three and a half inches of rain here. 
But if you look and you see that pile, in that pile, that's our wood. There's some white oak. I think it's mostly white oak. And this guy's going to saw it up into a low boy decking for us. I can't even tell what kind of sawmill he's got. But there's the sawmill that's going to do it. There's the wood. We cut that two winters ago. Nathan, to your left! He's going left! Yeah, he is relentless. Nathan, I don't see. I don't see any paint, Nathan. Hey, I hope everybody has a, a great fourth and a safe one. And enjoy family and friends and all that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.